Hey everyone, it's Marianne with the Kashik Inspirations. And this month we're gonna change it up a bit. We're going to do readings by the signs, the, fa the four elements of earth, air, fire, and water. So I'm gonna be doing the ones for the air signs. So we have Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. So, I'm going to use a bunch of different decks. We're going to just have some fun here. We're going to do, um, later on in, towards the end, we're going to do a pick, a pick a card so you have something kind of more measured to you. And we're going to start with some cards from the Good to Row by Colette Baron Reed and Wisdom of the Oracle as well. So, let's just get started. This is going to be fun. I just did another of the readings and it came out really nice. I was really happy with it. So, Hope these resonate with you for the month of July. There's just lots of things going on. We're in the eclipse season again, folks. And we've got the, uh, was it the new moon with the eclipse on the 2nd of July already. So we're just, oops, okay. We're just starting out great. And talk about starting out great. Ten of cups. Beautiful uh completion love uh, satisfaction of family like you're like you're really coming on at the beginning of this month really coming on like gangbusters with joy this is the happy buddha so let's go ahead and pick some more cards and we'll just lay them out and we've got the 11 with justice Ooh, then we go oh lots of ones 10 11 another one 10 so it's 11 11 lots of portal energy here I'm gonna pick well okay three more <laughs> three of fire two of earth seven of earth six of earth oh just okay we'll just pull them all out they all fell there we go this is gonna be Maybe we'll shorten it up a bit and not use the wisdom of the oracle. We'll just play around with these since there's so many. All right, so let's let's take a look here. Let's look over things. Okay, we've got three of fire. We have earth of, we've got elements of water, fire, earth. We've got three earths, a lot of fire, fire and earth. So we're kind of uh, with one water and we have one, two, three major arcana. Okay, so nothing in your sign, but maybe it's here to compliment you right you don't need more of your sign you need something um to balance you out to uh, give you alignment this month for my air sign so we we will start off with the bang right ten of water the happy buddha he's sitting there and he has looks like um what is that perhaps like a mandala but it's kind of been uh separated but maybe they represent the cups uh, let's see how many are there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh yes <laughs> so the spheres represent the cups uh the the sign of water oh they're pearls gotcha okay i really never actually took this like really sat and analyzed this card before but i love it because they're pearls pearls of wisdom um just the the, the significance that pearls um represent abundance right and pure love well that's why you the girls traditionally who were married uh in the month of june wore a set of pearls because the pearls were given to the young maidens to be married one as their dowry right as a dowry as a, as a gift uh for her to go to her husband with um having value right so that she's valued hmm. lots of interesting uh, dynamics going on right here then we go to the 11 uh, of the major arcana which is the justice card this card can represent she looks a little bit in this deck um, kind of parallels a little bit of the um, energies of the high priestess and the high priestess usually is sitting between two pillars right the black and the white um, kind of choosing the middle path right choosing the middle of the portal so 11 is a portal number why is it a portal because it's two individuals standing side by side equally so that's what this balance this alignment comes in for you so it's an alignment of the outside and this is interesting the outside satisfaction the love from others that you share, right? Family, uh, loved ones, 
and she's the alignment between you and that which represents outside of you and that which represents yourself and you are of course the magician so the magician along with the service to others with that sense of community is what creates the alignment in your life as an air sign beautiful because we know our air signs tend to be very esoteric very knowledgeable they love uh, quick-witted uh, things they're um, they're really about fairness humanitarianism um, so they are just very observant so they are like the, the, the observer of justice love that for my Aquarius and Gemini's and Libra's Libra of course represented by the scale so hello all right, so we got three of fire. So they're expecting some kind of action from you, right? There, you do this month. They're taking the helm, right? You are the captain of your own ship, right? Captain, captain, or oh, captain. Um, it is about where is it that you're going? <laughs> where do you want to go? Just all you have to do is steer yourself there, right? Because the three of fire is about your passions. Your passions are what steer your ship. It's what guides your your choices um in moving forward so loving that and it is about an again look we've got justice and now we have the two of pentacles the two of earth all again about alignment again about that choice right if there's a choice here um she's holding so i love looking at these cards because they have like so much like like oh you just think it's oh it's like misty or whatever there's actually things to be seen within these pictures so sometimes it's kind of uh hard to tell she said looks like she's some somewhat in a mist and this kind of reminds me of like one of the gods like the goddess goddess of air right god of air even though this is a pentacle reminds me of like the blowing winds right the winds of change so here you have the, you're you're ready to go you're at the home you have a choice and a decision to make you're going to take a little bit of time because you know we know that the air signs like to be erudite and to toss around thoughts and they can be a little a little too much in their thoughts right so that's what seven and earth is about is kind of bringing that sense of uh, being in your thoughts but bringing it down into an earthly matter in other words and bringing it down to being grounded like making sure that they are actually representable choices for you like these choices actually do exist and they're not just fairy castles like the seven of cups would be fair you know illusions so here the seven of earth is actually someone who's pausing to see what is there for them right that's still there and uh, the sixth of earth, again, interesting, right? Interesting because we're going along with this theme of alignment or balance. The sixth of earth represents the, the choice, right? The choice, the balance, the alignment between giving and receiving. So we know that in order to, for us, and this card came up in, in the last reading, was um, about really uh, making the proper alignment so that you, when you understand when you are, you are giving, that you are opening yourself up to receiving. When we give of ourselves, our thoughts, when we share um, things that we are teaching, maybe we're teachers or you're sharing, it's not that you lose your knowledge, right? You don't lose your knowledge by teaching somebody else or sharing with someone else. So we have to understand that sharing is not necessarily about doing without or giving up something. It is about a balance, alignment of the, the thoughts of sharing and getting something back even more than you had imagined. And that's where the moon comes in. That moon is really to guide your intuition, to guide you into the right aspects of what really are you balancing? What really are you in alignment for? What are you preparing for? What is your intention? Here we go. The intentions. What intentions are you setting in the new moon that will come to fruition in the full moon? Right? What, um, what, what are you, when we, when we set our intentions, especially under the new moon at the beginning of the month, um, this new moon in, in Cancer really explores relationships, explores our relationship to love, to others, 
and to self-love to ourself so love that and then we have eight of fire so eight of wands so something is going to be as a result of this preparation and this sense of being in alignment what happens is that that really sets the stage for action to come really quick so this eight of fire always reminds me of the chariot card where you see the horses running and you know the charioteer doesn't even have his hands on the reins so here she's um on her like lucky panda and all these illuminated uh globes are shining uh down for her for her path in this bamboo garden um so she's feeling protected she's feeling it's feelings of illumination and a sense of knowing like where she's going love that love it love it love it okay so what i want to pull is a couple of cards from mr stuart pierce angels of atlantis so we're going to get a little angelic help here today what what do our angels want us to know and how do oops that's a lot now where do they kind of want to give us their guidance and we have sandal fun and i'm just going to take the top one. Oh, beautiful we have sandal fun with evolution so we are evolving so this kind of reminds me of that upward spiral you know every time you you take a turn on the wheel right the the spiral keeps going up it's about a, an expansion and an evolutionary pattern and we get through that inspiration with Gabriel, who's the, the messenger angel bringing us inspiration, right? And it's an inspiration of like a higher divine source, right? Down into the earth. Like really, like this is what they want us to focus on. So it's very interesting how we're bringing things into place, right? Through the evolution. And then it's really gonna be focused on. Then we're gonna be able to be inspired by something, be inspired by this beautiful golden light here with Gabriel. So, oh, love that, love that. Very, very nice. Let's see how I'm gonna put this here. Let's just put these here for now. We're gonna kind of set this up this way. And then we'll put these here. So interesting how that plays. All right, so now we're going to Pull a card. Oh, I forgot about the wisdom. Ah, I think we're going to go with uh, the spirit animal. Since this is my reading and we're being guided by spirit, we're just, I'm, just, I'm already sweating. I want you to know how much energy is here. We're going to pick um, what I want you to be able to do here. Let me show you. We have a amethyst crystal pyramid. We have a beautiful heart, which Miss Deborah Bowen, stone heart, um, gave to me. I love that. Gorgeous. And a clear crystal point. This is like a Mac Daddy. So you get to choose either one, two, or three, whatever resonates with you. I'm going to create um, the reading from, you know, pick, we're going to choose an animal spirit and then I'm going to pick a goddess uh, power, which is like awesome. All right. So I'm going to do this like this. I'm going to do two. And, oh, can't get it, three, all right. So there's three, let's go with the goddess power to row. This is fun, I hope you're enjoying this. I'm having a good time. I, I love doing readings like this. This is, by the way, a great example of how I do readings for others. Um, it's just really a quick, oh, this is good. I really, uh, this is sticking out. I just want this. Okay, all right. So they're really, um, when I do readings, um, you know, I'm just, I just pull cards as I'm guided to pull. All right, so we're going to start with Amethyst, uh, Pyramid, we have the, the Red Heart, and the Crystal. So let's see what we have here. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Snake Spirit time to heal number 55 so big changes right big changes let me put this this way and then the goddess power that came out is oh gosh i hope i say it right saradwin saradin with potential now i know she's a celtic goddess so and she's got um she's got beautiful indigo crystal there in her third eye potential what is our potential so let's see what the snake 
spirit has to say about healing for us. You know that the snake also was represented in the um, in the uh, the cod uh, the codices codis right C A D E U S, which is the symbol of the of doctors and and the medical field. Right, it's two snakes coming together and entwining up the the staff, right? Representing Hermes Trimistigus. All right, so it says we all need healing. So when this snake, if you chose this uh, amethyst pyramid, it says that this that you're you're in a in a time of repairing, renewing, replenishing yourself. We're actually going into Mercury retrograde, so I'm not surprised to see some of that here. So they want to want to tell you to give yourself a little bit of time to nourish and to really to really heal, to really feel. Um, the vulnerability and then the healing of self that knowing that you know spirit is gentle with you right and it's about helping you shed right because snakes shed shedding the skin of old things that don't serve you um, so it's it's about really honoring uh, the work that you've done up to now for your healing and your growth and right? we we're talking about that upward spiral uh, earlier and um, it's really give yourself a pat on the back you know don't don't come down on yourself don't don't judge yourself so harshly um, because they really want you to see that you've you're coming into this beautiful sense of alignment right and and working with your intuition and you really have evolved you really have come forward so let's see what miss colette has to say about seridin that's the number nine all right, so she is the Celtic goddess. Um, basically that you're able to pull from the pool of infinite possibilities. And I, I've been getting messages about that a lot lately, actually. And that everything, you know,